If ever there was a vegetarian soup recipe that is both humble and dazzling, it's this black bean soup. Now, it's humble because it's made from pantry staples like black beans and broth that are relatively cheap and budget friendly. And it's dazzling because it's loaded with veggies and spices that give it this incredibly layered flavor with kicks of spice and earthiness. When my mom was visiting me last week, I reheated some leftovers of this soup recipe for her, but I didn't zhuzh it up with all of the toppings, so I don't think she was overly impressed. But then she took a bite of it and she said, holy smokes, this is amazing and it's so much better than I thought it was gonna be. And I think that's the reaction that you guys are gonna have as well. So let me show you how to make it. To get started, you'll create a mirepoix base for the soup, which includes one red onion, two ribs of celery, and one carrot. And you'll just dice all three of those items into equally sized pieces. So while I'm dicing those up, let's talk about the different variations of black bean soup. If you guys are big travelers like I am, you might have had black bean soup before, either in Mexico, Spain, Cuba, Puerto Rico, or other spots in the Caribbean or Latin America. It's a staple recipe in many countries, though you'll often find slight tweaks to the flavor and texture, meaning some black bean soups are spicier than others and some are fully blended and creamy, while others are chunky. And where does my black bean soup recipe fall on that continuum? Well, I'd say it's probably somewhere in the middle. It has a good amount of flavorful spice, but it's not hot spicy. And I blend a small portion of the soup for a mix of both creamy and chunky textures. But this is one of those soup recipes that after you've made it a few times, I'm sure you'll start tweaking it to your liking. So after the mirepoix base is done, you'll then de-seed and dice one jalapeno pepper. You can use a small spoon to scoop out the seeds. I sort of just shimmy it down the inside of each half. Then slice and dice the jalapeno up. Because this pepper will saute along with the other veggies, it actually has a fairly soft and muted flavor at the end. So honestly, don't worry about it being too spicy. But if you'd like a more powerful spice flavor, you could always swap this with serrano peppers and even add a second one if you'd like. And the last veggie to prep is garlic. I've got four good sized garlic cloves today, which makes me happy as I love garlic. But if yours are on the small side, feel free to add another one or two. So just give those a bash with your knife, remove their outer skins, and then take the garlic along with the chopped veggies over to the stove. Now here's the main ingredient in this soup, black beans. I'm using three cans of black beans today, but you could also use dried and cooked black beans, it's up to you. If you're using canned black beans as I'm doing, just make sure to fully rinse them in a fine mesh sieve or colander until the water runs clear on the other side. And once the water has stopped dripping from the bottom, set them down by the stove as well. To cook the black bean soup, add two tablespoons of olive oil to a large pot over medium high heat. Dump in your bowl that has the onion, carrot, celery, and jalapeno pepper, and then saute that for four to five minutes, stirring it frequently until the veggies have softened. Add the garlic to the pot by mincing it straight on top, and add your dried spices, which includes two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and a little dash or pinch of cayenne pepper for just a little extra kick of spice. And then stir all of that together until the garlic and spices are toasted and fragrant. Toasting the spices like this before adding the liquid to the pot maximizes their flavor because the dry heat helps to release the spices oils. And that results in a final soup that is bolder and more complex in flavor. All right, on to the beans. Add the rinsed and drained beans to the pot along with three cups of vegetable broth. You could also use chicken broth if you're not trying to keep this vegetarian or vegan. And I prefer low sodium broths as well so that I can better control the sodium content. Give that a stir, bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and let it simmer for 15 minutes so that all of those delicious flavors and spices can meld together. Now, at this point, you have a couple of options on how to make this soup creamy or creamier. You can take one to two cups of the soup by just scooping out this amount and then adding it to your blender and then blending it up for a minute or so until it's smooth and creamy. I know it looks a bit like sludge here, but you have to believe me when I tell you it is the tastiest sludge you've ever had. 
And that little bit of blended soup gives you a creamy base, but still retains the texture and body within the soup. Another alternative is to use an immersion blender to spot blend a few times to create a mix of creamy and chunky textures. Or if you prefer a smoother, more uniformly looking soup, you can keep blending for as long as you'd like. My soup is definitely more on the smooth and creamy side today after showing you both methods, but that's just fine. This is actually how I like it. Now there's one last ingredient that's essential for this black bean soup, and that's one to two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. I prefer a little more lime juice as I really love how the acid from the lime adds a punch of brightness to the soup. So stir that in and then you're ready to serve it up or meal prep it into individual containers and I'll show you both options right now. If you're meal prepping the soup, you can add a portion to glass jars or silicone super cubes containers. Just remember to leave some space at the top for expansion as the soup freezes. And each serving of the soup is about two cups in size with four servings in this recipe. So if I'm just making this for myself, I'll make the whole recipe, usually eat one portion right away, place one portion in the fridge for later in the week, and then freeze two portions for sometime in the future. But back to the portion that I'm going to enjoy today, because after smelling all of these delicious spices and flavors for the last 20 minutes, I can't not eat a serving. So after you ladle a serving into a bowl, you can then add your favorite toppings, like a dollop of sour cream, or if you wanna keep it vegan, just add a sprinkle of chopped red onion, fresh cilantro, and even some avocado slices if you have them. Like I said at the beginning, this humble yet dazzling black bean soup recipe will pleasantly surprise you, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it on social media. I always love to see your photos of my recipes. If you like today's recipe, please do give it a thumbs up as that helps to support my channel. Share the recipe with your fellow soup lovers, and I will see you again in the next video.